Hi everyone, this is Boink1209 and this is a skill CC build that I made um, mainly used for legendary or you could be heroic as well um, but mainly used for um, legendary missions um, because as you all know the NPCs over there hit very very hard and they're always very mobile at the same time so in a group setting um, you definitely need, of course, your DPS guy, a tank guy, and um, in this case, a skill CC, a crowd control guy. And uh, let me just show you the reasons on why. So first off, um, the specialization that I would recommend using is a survivalist. Uh, mainly, there are a few traits that are really, really helpful with the group. One being the... Um, the uh, group members get 10% bonus damage to targets with status effects. So again, this is a status effect type of build. So if you get them blind or uh, whatever status effect we'll just say, um, your team will benefit from the damage. Okay. Another one that's um, very helpful at the same time is the 10% um, increase production from elites because with legendary mode, you're going to... Um, be facing a lot of elites and with the armor kits this also has a group buff as well because um the dps guys they're going to get hit a lot and they're going to run out of of armor kits very very quickly so by you also using an armor kit if needed um those uh members will also get that type of buff as well okay so that's kind of the main reasons why um, i would use a survivalist at the same time you have incendiary grenades to um kind of keep um people at bay, you know, if, if you kind of uh, burn the ground and stuff. So, okay, so that's the specialization I would use. Now, in terms of the build, um, the weapons that I um, would use is the Everlasting Gaze. It's a named weapon. This has perfect perpetuation, okay? And this gives you a plus 50% status effect damage and duration for head on headshots. Um, and, and it's cooldown every 16 seconds, which is, you know, enough. Okay, so this is my main weapon because again, you're doing status effect. You want it as long as possible, so then your DPS guys can do the um, the damage or the kill. Okay, secondary, I'm using a Sweet Dreams because although majority of the NPCs are elites, there will be a few purples or maybe even reds. You know, but but yeah, I would say um, more purples than reds, of course. That will kind of be around. Um, the, uh, the different sections and zones and if there are and they keep creeping up to your group save your dps's time on conjuring the purple when you can just whack them and then they will instantly um get killed and that's the main talent it's called the sandman melee attacks instantly kill non-elite enemies so again that saves time for your group to concentrate on um the purples and can they, they can just concentrate on the boss or um, any yellows okay so that's my secondary third doesn't really matter i just you know, I had this um, because it had, um, um, I don't know, high shotgun damage in case they came cl close to me. But with Sweet Dreams, I think it's fine. Um, to go with the build, now I have three China Lights as well as um, one Hannah Yu and one Golan. And I can explain why I decided to use these, um, uh, these brand sets. And then one interesting thing that I actually found out, um, you know, based on other um, mentionings of, uh, I guess, other YouTubers and things like that, is this improvised holster, you know. So this was part of the build that um, really, uh, I guess, helped me in, in incorporating what I have obtained. So um, by going to your crafting bench, um, I just kept crafting, crafting until I got two yellows. So I got lucky on getting at least a... Um, status effect and making sure that your core attribute is a skill tier as well and then I just re-rolled um, uh, whatever uh, remaining I, I would do so in this case it would be skill haste so I had a, a mid roll status effect and I had a yellow um, core attribute um, for skill tier um, and the reason why this is so good is because you get that extra mod slot for the holster because holsters normally don't um, give you the, um, the extra mod slot so by by having an additional mod slot, you can essentially put an additional skill haste onto um, this uh, the, hol the holster. So that's why um, it is pretty important to have this, okay? So let me just kind of go through the gear. Um, I just ended up having a, a mask, uh, China Light. Again, just really simple, get status effect, skill haste. Those are pretty much the two attributes you want because 
you need to know your role. You're not doing any damage. You're not doing any skill damage, okay? Because you're just, again, putting status effects on the NPCs so that your other teammates can do the kill, okay? And then um, here's the bread and butter of the, of the build. And I haven't seen many people using this particular talent. And I think it's being totally, totally overlooked. And it is tag team. Now, the reason being why it's so good is because the last enemy you have damage with a skill is marked. And you might be going, well, you're not doing any damage with your skills. Well, hold on. In um, legendary mode, all of them are black tusks, okay? Um, one of my skills is actually the EMP. And this is actually considered a skill damage. A lot of people may not know that as well. It's considered skill damage. Because I'm using this as a skill damage, tag team gets procced. Okay, and I will show you later on how this will be um, will, will happen, will done, will be done. So once they're marked, if I just attack them, any part of their body, doesn't have to be a headshot or anything, I get an uh, active cooldown uh, reduced by four seconds. That's pretty uh, a big deal. And and my cooldowns on my gear, if you can see, look at my EMP, 14.5. My Flyerfly, 22.7. Four seconds of that, that's almost, uh, well, about, I don't know, 25% of uh, my Firefly, and probably 30% already um, or so um, from my um, EMP. Okay, so you can get your cooldowns back really, really fast. And you can see already my my duration's already more than the cooldown. So um, with this build, I will constantly be um, blinding them, constantly be EMPing the dogs or whoever, uh, the, the, the support stations or whatever it is. Okay, so this is why Tag Team is a very, very powerful um, talent for this particular build that I don't think a lot of people have been using. Okay, I already kind of went through the holster, so I'm not going to go through that. Um, and then uh, here's the Hannah Yu, or um, yeah, the Hannah Yu. And the reason why I just need one piece is because, again, of the skill haste. If you have any additional Hannah Yu um, uh, gear, you're just wasting the talents because you don't need skill damage, you don't need weapon damage because that is not your role. So all I needed was skill haste. So um, for the talent on this backpack, um, I was lucky enough to get Creeping Death, and this is very, very important as well because normally when you are being the, the skill CC, the blinder guy, you want to, like, normally you would run around, try to tag as many people as you can, right? And then, um, you know, and then, and then use it. But then you, you have a risk of getting uh, damaged or killed because you're just out in the open um, way too long and, and you're not very tanky at all. But by having Creeping Death, if they're usually kind of grouped together, and normally in Legendary, they, they usually are. They group up pretty um, uh, quite, quite a lot. You just put on one guy, and then that whole group essentially gets the blind. So it saves you a lot of time, and it saves you, um, uh, it's, and it's more safe too, okay? So this is why Creeping Death is um, very, very powerful with this build at, at the same time. Um, uh, another brand set that I wanted to incorporate was the Golan gear, or the, the Golan, yeah, Golan gear. Um Agent normally with the golden gear the core attribute is um, automatically a, a blue okay and you don't you don't really want that because you want to try to get the um, six uh, or the, the tier six of, of the skills right so I was very lucky that my sub attributes had a yellow like status effects um, uh, specifically okay the second attribute um, uh, hazard protection is actually a little better than all the other ones because I didn't want a red okay I didn't want any of the, like the uh, health or armor regen or something. So hazard protection is actually pretty decent, you know, given the fact with, with RNG and everything, okay? Of course, ideally, I would like to have skill haste and status effect, right? And then just reroll the core attribute of skill tier. But in this case, I, I was just able to find this and this is the, like, it's pretty rare. It's pretty hard to find. Um, and I was lucky to get something like this. So all I, all I did was just um, change the armor, the core attribute of armor to skill tier. And then um, I'm able to incorporate the tier six, and then you get the bonus of the plus 10% status effects. So boom, Golden Gear is actually um, very good with this particular build. Knee pads, again, just fulfilling the three requirements of um, the skill haste and status effects. Explosive damage, you know, whatever, you don't really need it. It's really the second and third tier bonuses that you want for the China light. And then um, the reason why I have skill damage on, that I rolled skill damage on this one is actually, um, 
this particular knee pad actually serves a purpose for a, another build that I have for um, skill uh, explosion with like mortar and um, you can do mortar secret mines or mortar firefly or whatever you want. But this was really for this knee pad was actually incorporated for this and I couldn't find any other better knee pads. So I just, um, you know, did this. Otherwise, ideally, I would like to have status effects and skill haste as well. OK, so again, um, the two uh, skills that I am using are the EMP and the Firefly. So EMP, again, uh, this is, again, very specifically for the um, legendary like Black Tusk because you're going to face a lot of dogs. You're going to face a lot of heavies that have those hive backpacks. You're going to face a lot of um, lieutenants with their um, uh, support station, um, you know, gear. And then the, the meds. Um, the, the, um, what do you call it? The, the doctors or whatever you call them, right? <clears throat> the, they, they have, um, their drones, you know, flying around and then the snipers, they also have their drones too, what, um, not, you know, trying to seek you guys out. Right. So with this EMP, it can, you know, do tons of disruption, um, from using their skills. If you can get them on time before they deploy it. Okay. Firefly, um, very straightforward. You're just blinding them because you are blinding them. They are pretty much just walking around aimlessly, um, not doing anything to you, um, and you can and the DPS guys can shoot them. However, if you do blind a heavy, okay, they will basically randomly shoot at the area where I guess you you blinded them or something like that, or maybe they just randomly shoot. Okay, so they're still shooting at you. So th that that's I guess the um, the exception, you know, on the safety of using the Firefly. Okay, so again, um, this is just the current build that I have. Okay, and then now I'm going to move on to the shooting range. Okay, just to ha have you test out uh, what it looks like. And just, just noting that this is heroic shooting range. Okay, and then I'm just going to make this into hard. Just again to give you an idea. Very hard, I mean. Okay, so here we go. So this is how the build's used. I'm going to incorporate all um, the, the the talents, um, the buffs and everything. So here's my wicked. I'm just going to blind one guy. Whoops. I didn't, I didn't mean to do... I just I just literally just put it. So you see how I just got everyone, right? Then I use my EMP. Now you see there's a, there should be a skull somewhere. Where is it? Um... There it is. There's a skull. You see that skull? That skull is the tag team. So I need to find the guy who has that. So I think it's the band back. There. Did you see my my um, cooldown just immediately reset? I'll do it again. Okay. So again, let me let me proc wicked uh, one more time. So here we go. Just get one guy, and then boom, I got all groups. And then I EMP. Okay. And then where's the tag team guy? There it is. Okay. So I think he's in the back again. Oh, there we go. Did you see my cooldown? Okay, you can always rewind back and, and, and forward. But you see, my cooldown's back, and they're still blinded, right? They're still blinded. If you blind them now, it's a waste. So you got to make sure the duration of the blind is done. So let me do it again. So here you go. I'm not even moving my cursor, okay? There. And then boom. See, it automatically procs it, right? Because of Wicked. And Wicked has a 20-second cooldown. So you have to make sure that when you use Wicked, you have to understand, uh, you know, what what is your cooldown on your own Firefly at the same time. So my cooldown on my Firefly... Um, is uh, um, 22 seconds. But look at the bind duration. It's at 23.7 seconds, meaning it's more than Wicked. Wicked is 20 seconds. So that means my Wicked will always be procced based on the, the duration of the blind. Okay, so here we go. Let me do it again. So I'm not moving my cursor, okay? I'm just aiming at one guy. Oops, hold on. Let me aim. <laughs> Make sure, oh, there we go. Okay, there. I put it out, boom. Automatically gets everyone. And then EMP immediately, okay? And then once I EMP, I find the guy with the skull. So it looks like the skull's in the back right here. I think it's this guy. And look at that. My cooldowns just came back. Four seconds. Okay. Boom. And then and they're still they're still blinded. I do it again. Boom. Look at that. Constant blind. Boom. And then EMP. Do it again. Look at that. And then oh, looks like the the guy's the the, the guy right there. So look at the look at the cooldowns. Boom. Got it back. And look at that, they're still blinded and I'm my blind ready to go. So in case like you missed a blind or the wicked didn't didn't proc for someone, if there's some random rusher, then I can immediately blind them. So then um, there's constant blind, constant in a sense protection for my group to just down anyone, okay? Now here's another big kicker. I didn't even use my per uh, perfect perpetuation yet. So let's do that. So let me proc that. So I'm gonna headshot. 
and look at you see the uh, the perfect perpetuation uh, uh, icon, right? That means it gives me an additional status effect by 50%. So here we go. I'm going to do that again. Boom. And look at the cooldown on this, okay? On, on Look at how long it's going to take for the blind. And then I, I proc uh, the uh, the tag team again. So let me see, where is it at? I think it's this guy. Yep, there we go. And then the cooldowns. And then look at, they're still blinded. Look at how long I have to wait. I ha Look at how long I have to wait for the blind to... to um, be done before I can use mine. Look at how long waiting. And then, and then here we go. Do it again. Boom. Blind again. And then there we go. And then I just use it again. Boom. With the EMP. Find and then and you gotta find the guy with the the skull. Make sure you tag him if you can. Okay. Even if you even if you don't find you can't like like let's say he the the guy that's tagged is is running around and you have no um, line of sight. It's okay. That that skull will be there forever. Okay. So. He might come back and then eventually when he does come back use it again okay so here we go blind again whoops i missed that my, my bad that was a messed up blind um let me do it again here we go boom one blind emp find the guy with the skull okay where is he at oh he's right there try to headshot if possible then you get perpetuation at the same time and then there we go look at how long um, it, it, it's, it's lasting for right now. And then, yep. Yeah. So in any case, I think you've seen enough examples of that. So you can see that the, the beauty and, and the, and, and the, how powerful, you know, this particular build can be. I know other people have different iterations, but again, I haven't seen anyone incorporate tag team with, uh, this particular build. And you just saw how powerful it can be. Now, another big note come around, I think next week or two, when they implement TU 8.5, um, or, or nine, something like that. If you go to their forums and look at the updates that they're planning to do, they are actually reworking tag team and wicked. So tag team, I believe what I read, okay, and and please correct me if I'm wrong on comments or whatever. But instead of four seconds, it's actually going to be six seconds. So you you think my build is buff right now? It's gonna be even more buff for the next update. So I would say this particular build I'm making is really in, prep in preparation for the next update for this to be even more buff. We uh, Creeping Death is also getting a buff. So instead of five meters, I believe it's going to be eight meters or so. So holy crap. <laughs> I mean, that that just, you know, gives you a even more better reason to, um, uh, to you know, find Creeping Death, find Tag Team. Again, these are very, very overlooked um, talents that people are just not using, okay? Um, and then, um, yeah, so I mean, again, this is just pretty much the build. If you guys have questions on it uh, or what, where to find them or, you know, um, where to get, where to refine whatever attribute or change whatever attribute, just, um, yeah, comment on, on the video or you can feel free to go to, the, to my Discord and um, ask more about the build. Okay, so in that case, this is my skill CC crowd control um, status effect build. Again, this is mainly used for legendary missions um, and uh, understanding your role as a status CC. So then your group members can, uh, or the DPS guys can, um, you know, do damage on. Okay, um, but in any case, I am Boink1209. I'm part of the Ninja Bots clan and hopefully we'll be able to see you either on the next stream or next video so until then till next time